talk about track spikes and in particular in light of the announcement from World Athletics around um, the announcement of the banning of prototypes and the ruling on carbon plated shoes. Last week we did a video about um, racing shoes and in particular the Vaporfly. Um, the ruling has been made this week, banning them and the use of prototypes, effect from 30th of April. But um, lots of athletes ran PBs yesterday and over the weekend and there has been a lot of discussion over the type of footwear that's been used and in particular spikes. So Gemma Riki um, ran a new British record, 157.91, um, beating her training partner Laura Muir. Um, Adele Tracy finishing in third in a new PB as well, just outside two minutes, and um, Gabriella de Bruce Stafford of Canada, a new PB, again, just outside two minutes. So lots of great times there. Um, it's believed that Gemma Riki and Laura Muir wore Nike plated spikes, and um, hence the discussion. So. I'm going to rewind it a little bit and look at spikes and where they all came from. Um, now the earliest spike I could get my hand on, or the one that I could tell you something about, was this. Now believe it or not, this spike is from 1966 and it's the shoe that my dad wore in Stockholm to run a British record for 10,000 metres, um, 28-26. Um, very primitive looking by today's standard and absolutely nothing in the heel, very flimsy, very very, uh, very flexible um, but that's what he ran in um, many years ago if we fast forward 30 years this is the spike that I ran my uh, many of my PBs in um, at 1355 at 5,000 meters so a similar pace to my dad ran 30 years previously but the spike was certainly space age and high-tech at the time um, if you look at the spike plate um, it's very aggressive, there's a foam wedge running from the heel through the midfoot and I remember the first time I put these spikes on it, it really did feel like it was um, propelling me forward down the track um, a very aggressive feel really pushing me up onto my toes um, but in the interim spikes from being like this in the 60s to the 90s um, developed massively um, a lot of spikes, sprint spikes, and this was a distant, well, it was used for a distance uh, race, my dad ran in the 10k, but spikes were like this for pretty much most events. But high jump spikes, long jump spikes, javelin boot spikes, all developed and offered the particular athlete an individually tailored performance. So a lot of development has taken place. If we go up into the, two, the early 2000s, this is um, another Adidas spike. Um, and we can see here in particular, the spike plate runs right into the midfoot. Um, again, giving a propelling like action. So spike plates have always been developing. Um, does a carbon fiber spike plate have a massive difference? Ultimately, there have been carbon fiber spike plate shoes. Um, I guess the issue does come down to the use of prototypes. And, and while we believe Laura Muir's shoe was a prototype and many were worn in the World Champs in Doha um, last year, um, that, that's where the controversy lies. So whether these shoes do make it to retail, which they probably will, um, it's a very personal thing. But spikes are something that's always developed um, fantastically quickly. And um, there's been many examples over the years. I think the, the, the most famous example of a prototype spike, perhaps, was Michael Johnson's Atlanta spikes, um, the gold spikes that he ran the world records in. Now, they were certainly unique to Michael Johnson back then. So, again, world athletics, it's a whole, it's a very controversial area. When are shoes banned? When are they not banned? When are rules coming into effect? And can, they, can rules be backdated? Probably not. Um, so yeah, this is a, it's a video to, to promote discussion, to promote debate um, and to let us know your opinion. Um, but I don't think it's an issue that's going away again. Spikes are going to develop and um, hats off to all the, all the athletes that ran PBs this weekend. Ultimately the race, the 800 metre race up in Scotland where Gemma Riki won, she's 
one of Britain's most promising athletes for the last few years. She's benefiting from a fantastic training group. She's running with one of the world's leading female athletes in a training partner, um, Laura Muir. She's got a great setup there. She's been training, uh, warm weather training. So probably a PB was long overdue. And when you've got a world-class athlete with the likes of Laura Muir, Muir sorry, um, taking the pace out, um, then you've got probably the world's best pacemaker. So, you know, credit to her as well. The performance was a fantastic run. There were lots of other great runs yesterday, um, including um, Tom Keane as well in uh, Valencia, I believe, with um, an under 20s um, 1500 meter record. So, lots of great runs. Um, credit where it's due, and Spikes, let's see what happens.